Good day, and thank you for watching this episode of Crime Watch. I do believe that we are making progress in educating you, the residents and businesses of Shelby Township, in protecting yourself from being a victim of crime. I gauge that progress by the number of reported crimes that I report to you, and that number has been dropping with every episode. Yes, we still have our spikes in crime, but generally speaking, locking your vehicles and securing valuables is making a big difference. This allows me now to talk a little bit about how important it is to slow down in residential subdivisions. Posted or not, the speed limit is 25 miles per hour. Pay attention to your speed and don't allow distractions while you are driving, such as texting or talking on the phone. Focus on your driving. Residential complaints are on the rise and I assure you officers will be monitoring your speed. Hint, on Powers Court, Rex Street, Patterson and Malonis, Whippy Way, and Towering Oaks. Enough lecturing. Let's talk about what was reported. I will be discussing crimes reported to the Shelby Township Police Department between July 28th and August 10th of 2015. Let's begin with larcenies. On August 5th at the Walmart 51450 Shelby Parkway, a store representative visited the Shelby Township Police Department to report two larceny complaints. On July 19th and July 22nd, a male subject entered the store on both dates, walked through the display cases of the Samsung cell phones, and broke the lock mechanism and stole one phone on each date. Each cell phone was valued at approximately $700. Store surveillance cameras show the subject enter and exit the store and outside cameras include a red Dodge Durango as the subject's vehicle. This information was sent to area Walmarts and on August 2nd, the subject was caught in Clinton Township committing the same theft. Now detectives can put a name to their face and seek retail fraud charges. On August 6th, a UPS delivery was taken from the resident's porch. The package, a pair of shoes from Carson's valued at $90, were confirmed delivered but not retrieved from the resident. When ordering items requiring being delivered, pay close attention to the delivery date and ask a friend or family member to check on it for you if you cannot be present. On August 8th at the Kroger's, located at 14945 23 Mile Road, a patron left her purse in the shopping cart unattended for a brief moment and when checking out discovered her wallet missing with all its contents. Please keep in mind that people prey on those that give them the slightest opportunity to take what isn't theirs. Next is larceny from auto reports. On July 29th, in the 53,000 block of Luan, an unlocked vehicle was found by thieves and the resident's purse and medication were taken. Lock it or lose it. On August 3rd, at Aldi's located at 4734T Van Dyke, an unlocked vehicle was located and a $550 money order was taken. Lastly is vehicle theft. On August 8th, in the 13,000 block of Towering Oaks, a 1970 Dodge Challenger, orange in color, was parked in the driveway overnight with faulty door locks and discovered gone in the morning. The vehicle was valued at $20,000. To end the show on a positive note, I'd like to invite the residents and business owners to the Shelby Township Police Department's 10th annual Shred Day scheduled for Saturday, October 17th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. This event takes place on the municipal grounds and allows people to safely shred all documents that contain personal information. I hope to see you there.